Locate the FB Multi-Peer application on your computer. Double-click on the application to launch the software. Upon opening the application, the welcome screen will appear. In this tutorial, we'll investigate how to obtain printable forces from a pre-configured peer model. Let's begin by selecting the open icon located at the top left corner of the program as shown. Upon selecting the open icon, FB Multi-Peer will allow you to select the model you've developed. For the purposes of this tutorial, a realistic peer model has been designed. Locate the file you wish to open and select Open to load the model into the software. If you do not have a model created, simply select the new icon followed by Peer, as demonstrated in our other tutorial videos. After loading your model, the user interface will display four individual windows as shown here. The top left window, entitled Model Data, allows you to directly input analysis and design parameters for your model. The top right window, entitled Pile Plan View, provides a planned cross-sectional view of the foundation configuration at the pile cap midplane. The bottom left window, entitled Soil Edit, displays soil layering for the currently selected pile. In the model shown here, three individual soil layers have been defined. Note that FB Multipeer employs distributed nonlinear springs to model the resistance provided by the soil and rock media. Finally, the bottom right window, entitled 3D View, displays a 3D rendering of the model. Once you are satisfied with all the input parameters within your model, select Analysis. FB Multipeer will conduct an analysis based on the design parameters and provide real-time feedback via the analysis window. Upon completion of the run, if a solution has been found, the analysis window will give an indication and then disappear. Now, select Pile Results. Though we will be investigating pile results in this tutorial, this post-processing process can also be conducted for the peer columns in peer, or bent caps in the peer results window, which is accessed by selecting its corresponding icon, as shown. After selecting the pile results icon, several windows will appear. This set of windows provides users with a variety of data sets for the piles used in the model. One pile has been pre-selected. To alter the pile of interest, use the drag selection tool in the pile plan view window by clicking and dragging as shown. This feature allows you to select as many piles for the analysis as you wish. Data per pile will be generated simultaneously within each plot below. If you would like to remove any piles from the plotted results windows, start by right-clicking in the Pile Plan View window, then select the Deselect Piles option. You may now deselect piles by using the DragBots tool. Once you have selected the piles of interest, you may select the demands and load cases you wish to view in the Plot Display Control window. In this tutorial, we will investigate the current load case, which was defined prior to the analysis. Towards the bottom half of the program interface, a variety of profile plots are presented for the piles we have selected. Though these plots are useful for depicting general trends, the tabular set of data points is also available. To access this data, right-click in the plot of interest. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will investigate the tabular data associated with the demand versus capacity ratio plot. Next, select the printable graph option. A printable forces plot will be presented to the right, providing numerical data in a tabular format. Data is given per pile node. To the left, the demand versus capacity ratio plot is shown. Of note is the jump in the demand capacity profile plot. This is attributed to the pile casing present in the same portion of the pile length in the model. For convenience, FB Multipure provides users with the option to export their data to Excel. To export your data, click Excel. You may now manipulate your data as desired directly within Excel. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.